Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Look at that crappie, man. That's a nice crappie. <laughs> nice largemouth. Very nice largemouth. Nice largemouth bass. Nice largemouth bass. Alright, good deal. Alright, I'm gonna eat this beautiful musky. 35 inch musky. Catch and release. Seventeen Hello, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host John Leach. Today is Friday, April 26, 2019. It's approximately around 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, I was on PTO today, had a lot of odds and ends to do and take care of today. Um, supposed to go to fishing tournament in Chesapeake Bay tomorrow, but they canceled because Calling for rain today, and then tomorrow high wind. It's supposed to be sustained winds between 17 to 20 miles per hour, and gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. So there's a small boat advisor in the Chesapeake Bay tomorrow, on April 27, 2019. So they canceled the tournament, which is fine with me. Better safe than sorry. But at any rate, I'm back here at one of my favorite spots, the local lake, where it's shore or wade fishing only. No kayaks, no boats, no canoes. Only wading or shore fishing. And it's fantastic. Um, it is cloudy. It's definitely threatened for me. It's a flicker, woodpecker. At any rate, it's calling for rain. As long as it's not lightning, I will fish in the rain. I don't mind if it's. I bought my rain gear, so if it's pouring, I'll still fish as long as it ain't lightning. If it's lightning, I'm done and out of here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and walk back a mile. But there's a sweet honey hole way back. It's a good mile walk. Very few people go back there to know about it or wouldn't walk that far. But I know there's a lot of big fish. I caught my biggest fish, my PB six pound largemouth bass was caught back here. But it's like, a, it's at least a mile hike. So, I think I'm gonna try and go back there. Since the other spots I've been in are starting to get hammered. Um, I haven't shown anybody where they are, so people know about them. So at any rate, stay tuned. Hope I have a lot of big fish to show you in this video. And I will see you in the water. On. Second cast too. Look at that man, second cast. I'm fishing in the rain. Who says you can't catch fish in the rain? Look at that. 13 inch large round bass. 
And yes, I do measure every fish. I mean, you can see it, but there's my ruler. So for you critics who claim I don't measure away my fish, I measure every single fish I catch. Look, right there's a tape measure. 13 inch largemouth bass, second cast, catch and release. They still bite in the rain, man. 13 inch largemouth bass, catch and release. Look at that man, fish number two in the rain baby, 12 and a half inch largemouth bass, and yes I measured him, he's 12 and a half inches long, again I'm catching him on a four inch young dinger, the color is called tin foil, it is pouring out here, you take notice my hat came, I had a waterproof case on, I'll tell you what man, these fish still biting in the rain, it don't matter, fish already wet, they don't care if it rains, <laughs> I'm just, of course I'm the only one crazy enough to be out here, I'm the only fisherman out here, that's fish number two, You guys can hear me. Third, I'm sorry, not third. Twelve and a half inch large mouth bass. Catch and release. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh, time to get out of here. We're done. All right, we're out of here. We're done. I got to hightail it out of here.